Discussions at that summit will also focus on workers' rights. Stepped up efforts for oversight and working conditions around the world have been in the works now for more than a year, all because of a, a devastating factory tragedy. Our very own Jim Spellman explains. In 2013, the Rana Plaza textile factory building in Bangladesh collapsed. More than 1,100 workers died, many others were injured. The tragedy brought new attention to working conditions around the world and calls for better oversight by the international clothing companies that rely on factories like those in Rana Plaza that some call death traps. Had the international brands stuck to their social responsibilities before placing orders from a factory and had they tightened their monitoring procedures, this type of accident could have been avoided. Last month, an alliance of those international brands, including The Gap, H&M, and Levi Strauss, voluntarily agreed to alter inspection routines of factories worldwide, streamlining and creating uniformity in safety audit procedures. A trade group representing the company says... Costs on duplicated auditing will be significantly reduced, and the money saved will instead be used to improve social welfare for millions of people employed in the sector. The agreement is voluntary, and the results of the audits remain confidential, meaning workers' groups and local labor ministries won't get access to safety reports. Judy Gearhart is executive director of the International Labor Rights Forum. She says the agreement is a good start but ignores an important voice. By not giving worker organizations a meaningful role in their codes and auditing systems, they've sidelined those organizations. In Bangladesh, a separate agreement was enacted in the wake of the Rana Plaza disaster. It's called the Bangladesh Accord on Fire and Building Safety, a binding agreement with a greater role for workers and more transparency. The UN's International Labor Organization says it's a deal that makes sense for workers, factory owners, and the international clothing companies. This is not a, more than a moral issue, it's also in my mind an economic issue because it's very clear today that when workers go there with this in mind, I don't know how you can really raise your productivity. Workers' rights groups see the Bangladesh Accord as a model for agreements in other countries. The question is, is whether or not we have to wait for the next huge disaster in order to have the brand sign on to a ro more robust commitment. The companies will spend about six months establishing audit criteria before enacting the program. Jim Spellman, CCTV, Washington.